Hi Sagittarius, today I'm going to be doing a general love reading for you guys. These are general, so like what resonates and leave what doesn't. If this does not resonate with you guys, don't forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, and or Venus signs. I have a call to pull and do a Sagittarius reading for Ma Tarot. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys. We're going to see what we got for Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus signs. Spirit guys. Be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Be bold with your request to the universe. So there's a need for you to set your intentions when it comes to love while also still listening to your intuition, Sagittarius. I feel like, what do you want? Okay, so what do you want? When you look for a relationship or when you're looking for a relationship, I'm hearing marriage. So if some of you guys want marriage, then it's time for you to get into the dating world. It's time for you to go out and go meet people mingle with people here <clears throat> if you want marriage here i feel like you got to stop feeling abandoned you got to stop feeling left out you got to stop feeling like the universe isn't going to make things right for you you may have been left here i'm fair i'm here for some of you guys left at the altar like and that's not for everyone that's like for a couple of you but i'm hearing like some of you guys could have been abandoned or you could have been ghosted by someone in your past here or someone just left you but you have the key you have the key, and that key in this reading is the intentions here. It's based off of what you said. If you want to get married or you want a relationship here, and you want the universe to give you something that's fair, equal, balanced, where you equally yoked, where this person loves you the same way you love this person, it's like you're not just giving to this person and things like that, you know, it's like you got to be bold with your request. If you want to, uh, to get married here, I feel like you got to start going out there you got to give the universe something to work with sagittarius they know that you've been hurt they know that you've been bruised they know that you've been left they know that you've been abandoned to they know that you've been left to deal with finances here but you have the power to restore that balance what are you waiting for set that intention what do you want in a partner what do you want in a woman what do you want in a man be bold with your request to the universe because they're listening. They want to hear what you want so that they can make it right for you, so that they can balance it out for you. But don't feel alone. Don't feel abandoned. Don't feel like everyone that comes around you is going to leave you because they're not. Family, friends, lovers, jobs. You got to give them something to work with. You have to put in the time and energy as well and not feel alone and abandoned. You got to get out of that energy if you want something equally yoked for you. You're guarded now. You're standing in your power. You're standing your ground. So be bold with what you want so that they can deliver it to you. Spirit guides, what do you have for Sagittarius? What do you have for Sagittarius? What do you have for Sagittarius regarding love? There is somebody who has feelings for you, Sagittarius. I don't know if you know this. This person could be in their 20s. This person could be in their um, 30s here. This is definitely somebody who could be a little younger than you. I feel like somebody has feelings for you. I feel like they feel like they're on an all-time high. You make this person feel, how should I say this? Like, I definitely feel like you make this person feel, you uplift this person. You definitely uplift this person. I feel like you... You really make this person, their heart open up. I feel like there's somebody who has feelings for you. They want a new beginning with you. This is somebody who really has love for you. This is somebody that could even see themselves marrying you. I feel like this is somebody who really has feelings for you. And their feelings are, I feel like it's beautiful. Because this is somebody who feels like they are falling in love with you. And they can see themselves building a life with you. This is somebody who wants to communicate this. I feel like they're going to express how they feel to you a lot. This is definitely somebody who sees marriage here i also feel like this is somebody who loves you they're gonna love you forever like this is definitely somebody who 
wants a relationship with you. They've been learning you. They've been observing you. They're very smart. They're very wise. They may come off very detached, but they're really just learning you. They're very observant. They could be very quiet. They could have been through a lot of challenges in their life where they don't wear their heart on their sleeve. Um, they come in a form of crows, so they're very protective of you. They're always around. They're always watching you. They're always observing you, learning you. Um, they're very protective of you, definitely. And they realize a lot about you. This is definitely somebody who stands in their truth. They're very authentic. You know, they're very honest, very smart. This could be like a doctor, a psychiatrist, a lawyer. This could be a... A judge this could be a police officer this could be somebody who has some type of authority here but this is also somebody who has a level of knowledge like very smart this is definitely somebody who could have graduated with a master's degree um, this is somebody who definitely got their high school diploma no cap out automatically but this is also somebody who's very observant so they're very quiet they don't speak much but they're watching all the time What do we got for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, you're being called to let your guard down here and let love in. I feel like you may want to um, release your guard and express yourself to someone, or you may have feelings for someone here, or you, you're realizing... Or maybe you're realizing it's okay for you to let your guard down. I feel like you've been really healing. You've been really connected. You're very connected to God here. You're very connected to your spirituality here. But you have a lot of faith. And you believe that your spirit guides is going to bring you someone here who loves you. I definitely feel like you and another person share these mutual feelings here. Um, this is somebody who can see you as having a lot of competition. You have a lot of people fighting for your attention. You definitely get a lot of attention. But I, I feel like this is somebody who's like focused on you and only you. I feel like you've been visioning things or you've been seeing things before they happen here. I also see like you've been looking towards the future. You could be waiting for something to come in, um, some type of relationship or some type of stability here. I definitely feel like that's coming in or that's here already. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Virgo, a Gemini, strongly, Aquarius, or a Scorpio, or a fixed sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. I think that's how it, the fixed signs, I believe so. Okay, so like, basically Sagittarius, I feel like you're starting to realize that you can let your guard down with someone who you share a connection with. It's a very spiritual connection. This is a very deep bond here. I feel like this is somebody who feels like you constantly have people fighting for your attention or fighting for you, but this is somebody who's like focusing on you. I feel like this is a very spiritual person or this person has the tools to really manifest you and that's exactly what this person's doing. So I feel like this person has been really manifesting you, like literally, whether that's thinking about you a lot or speaking your name in existence or just giving you a lot of attention or just thinking things when this person sees you but I definitely feel like this is somebody who feels like they're not gonna fight for your attention because they already have it this is somebody you are connected to you don't know why you're so drawn to this person and this person don't know why they're so drawn to you but this is somebody who I feel like you have a deep bond with if you have not met this person you're gonna meet this person soon what is the seven of wands in a reverse letting your guard down being vulnerable you know, not being too defensive, you know, not being too guarded, unblocking something or someone here. Or just, like, letting your guard down, you know? Being protective of yourself, but not being so harsh. Like, just allowing yourself to open up just a little bit here. Not letting everybody know what you, you feel, but still, you, you know, listening to your intuition. But I definitely feel like you kind of want to let your guard down. You're starting to realize, like... You're starting to realize you want to let this new love in. You definitely got new love in your energy. And I feel like this person genuinely loves you. I feel like this is going to be a lot of love, compassion, a lot of honesty, a lot of loyalty, a lot of expression. Very great expression here. I feel like you guys are going to travel a lot. I feel like this is definitely, for some of you, a long-distance relationship. But this is love. This is love. And I feel like this is why you are letting your... 
I feel like this is why you're letting and your guard down because you know that this person has feelings for you and know that and you know that you have feelings for this person. I feel like you're just realizing here that you have love for this person and you want to let your guard down. Listen, I definitely feel like this person is in love with you as well and this person is acknowledging the fact that they have feelings for you. I feel like this person watches you a lot. Yeah, this person suppresses what they feel. This is definitely somebody who could have released any type of negativity in their, negativity in their life here. Um, this could also be a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. I'm also seeing like somebody is like letting go of something or someone because this person may have deceived them in the past. But I'm also saying, like Sagittarius, this is somebody that's like, I want to be fair to you. I want to be honest. I want to be loyal to you. I want to make amends with you. I want to give to you. I want to be fair. I want this to be equal. I want you to release any stress that you have or any responsibilities you carry in. I want you to trust in me. I want you to know that I love you and that I'm only here to make it right and I'm only here to be fair to you, you know? Like, I want you to believe in me. I want you to have faith in me. I want you to trust in me, you know? I know you've been hurt. I know you've been deceived. But I really want you to trust in me. I want you to know that I'm here to restore balance. I'm not here to lie to you. I'm not here to play games with you. I'm here to enlighten you. I'm here to teach you a lesson. I'm here for you to see things differently and realize that you deserve new love. You deserve change. You deserve whatever it is that you de desire. You need to know that you've been through a lot of lessons and a lot of changes here and it is now time for you to be rewarded with good karma. And this love is something that is going to be good karma for you. I definitely feel like you don't have to be defensive. You know that you found out a lot about someone you dealt with in the past. But that is over. That's ended. Now it's time for you to have a rebirth. And this rebirth is this new relationship. For some of you, a baby. I feel like if you just recently had a baby, the father is in love with the baby. Like, the father loves the baby. But Sagittarius, you may not be clear about this change. You, know, you may not know where you're going. You may not know where this is going to take you. But you got to understand that you got to let go of the past. Let go of the past. Let go of the thought of the past. Let go of this past person who genuinely treated you like crap. And let new love in. This is a change. This is a beautiful connection. This is a, a lesson you're going to learn that you don't have to repeat. This is better. This is warmer. This is divine timing. This is love. This is a spiritual connection that you have with somebody. And you have deep feelings for this person. And this person definitely has deep feelings for you. This is definitely somebody who wants children with you. They want this relationship with you. They want to reconnect with you. They want to meet up with you. They want to get to know more about you. They feel like they have a lot of good memories with you or they're thinking about the good memories with you. This could be somebody you've known from your childhood or somebody that you've known in your past or this could be like a friend or something or someone you went to high school with or college or church, you know, your neighborhood churches or mutual friend from a friend. Could be your children's friend's parent or something like that. Like this could be somebody you just meet at the store here. I definitely feel like you have a lot of competition right now. You got a lot of people fighting for your attention. You got a lot of people wanting to have this uh, passion here for you. But I also feel like you are not going back to your past either. You don't want to fight. I feel like you got somebody in your past who wants to come in and fight. This person is angry. They're jealous. They're venge they vengeful. They want to talk a lot of BS. They're not learning their lessons. They're very defensive. They're blaming you. Because you want nothing to do with the past. You want nothing to do with the past. You're, you, this is somebody who's very reckless. like, And this is a very manipulative energy. But this person in their feelings because you have feelings for someone else. Because you're giving your attention and you're focusing and you're manifesting new in your life. You're not giving none of your attention to the selfish person who never took action on you. Who is very insecure. Very jealous. This person always held back from you. This person was just very reckless. 
and now this person's hurt because they're waiting for you. <laughs> You're not going back to this person. You're not going back to this person. They're confused. They're confused. Yes, they're very confused. I definitely feel like you don't want nothing back from your past because you feel like you're on top now. You feel like you're on victory, you know? I feel like you definitely feel like you are in love with someone new. So you don't want nothing back from your past. You don't want nothing back from your past. And I feel like you've been really feeling like you've been feeling victorious. I also feel like there's a lot of people who have been flirting with you or don't got much to offer you. So you're going to have a little je jealous people here and there. You're going to have hating friends, envious people. But this connection here, I feel like it's going to be very victorious for you, Sagittarius. This is going to be like a stable relationship. I feel like you're going to be giving all your time and attention to this person. Y'all going to be planning trips together. Y'all going to be going on dates together. Y'all going to be really, I feel like you're going to be a mother. You're going to be feeling good about yourself. You're going to be feeling comfortable in this relationship. I feel like you have an ex who found out that you have another lover in your energy and they're going to try to make their way back into your life here. They're stressed out. They're nervous. They're losing sleep. They're they're jealous. They can't focus because you're manifesting a new lover in your life. Like you got somebody new in your life. And this past person here, you already know. You're not saying a word to this person. You're healing. You know that this person want to communicate with you, but you don't care. You don't care. You've ascended since this betrayal has hurt you. You've become more connected to your spirituality. You've been gaining the stability. You've been nurturing yourself, loving yourself here. And you got somebody who's feeling backstabbed, who's feeling betrayed, who's going through major betrayal, major deception, being deceived by family, friends, and lovers. Like this person can't take it, can't handle it. And the silence is also killing them too. They've been praying about you. Because they're not happy where they are. They're tied to someone who's very selfish. They could be struggling financially here. They may seem like they're happy, but they're really not happy. This is not a relationship they want. They may not even be together, but they live together or something like that. Or this woman's not going to let them go here. But I feel like you're, you're over this person. And you're not dealing with any more of this person's shenanigans. Those cycles are over. You got a new lover in your energy. And you're focusing on new love. You're not saying anything to this person because you already know who you want. This person is going to try to come in and offer you some type of small ass sweet nothings to try to get you back in. And it's not going to work. This person just needs to stop because it's not going to work. They're not committed. They're not loyal. They're not reliable. They are very disrespectful. They cheat a lot. They're not loyal at all. They're not hardworking. They're struggling financially. They can't be there for you. They can only offer you sex. They may not even have a job. Could have recently just lost a job. Or they're struggling to hold on to money. They're struggling to keep faith right now. They're going. They're just trying to get by for some of them. Like, um, But they're very selfish. They're very selfish. And if you were to give to this person again, it would be a disaster. And just more heartbreak because the feelings aren't mutual anymore. You're manifesting a new lover in your energy. You're manifesting partnership. You're manifesting a job. And you're going to receive all of that. You're going to receive all that you've prayed for. All that you've been wishing for. Because you deserve it. Why? Because you've grown into this empress that you are. Because you did what the universe asked you to do. Because you listened to your intuition. Because you never you chose not to accept your past. Because you're choosing to look at things differently. Because you're doing right by the universe. So they're going to do right by you. So whoever this resonated for, set those intentions of what you want in a person. And it is going to be brought to you. You definitely have a relationship coming in. And the universe wants you to know they hear you keep manifesting because you deserve this. You deserve this. I'll see you guys later.